Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we have another SSHIP video in Medieval 2. Last time we did fight the Serbs. We have an army over here in Zara. We went on a bit of a crusade. Yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> kind of failed, but I am thinking, having a look at our map, that it may be easier, rather than fighting the Byzantines, to take all of Italy. Now, to do that, we will have to kill Pisa and Sardinia Piedmont, which is not easy. And on top of it not being easy, is the fact that um, the Pope might kill us. <laughs> So, I really don't know what we should do. So let me down, know down in the comments below what you think should happen. But I think at this point we are at the end of the turn. We are trying to make Rausion or Ragusa Catholic. How is Zara in terms of its Catholicism? Let's have a look at the settlement details. 66% Catholic. Uh, not really a very appropriate uh, <laughs> percentage, but oh well. We also do need to take Milan, so I'm wondering whether we just, you know, have a little look around. Maybe fight Serbia a little bit, see what happens. Um, they've got their profits over here too. Who is the Can we kill him? This Failed to den denounce the blasphemer. Okay, well we'll try next time anyway. But yes, um, so I'm wondering what to do. Again, we're going to take it slow, guys. We're going to be building up, then maybe fighting the Serbs. I think we do have a mission right now to take um, this settlement over here. So we may go for that with the army in Zara, but let's see first. The Serbs do have a pretty large army that they are, you know, swinging about. So first things first, though, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where we get to. So, the Bedouins have come. We, luckily, we have nothing next to the desert. Oh, we definitely want to accept this. Administratively minded. So, let's get him. Uh, Liber de Composizione Alchemi. Robert of Chester has completed his transcription of alchemy. The book of the composition of alchemy. Originally an Arabic text, this grand compendium... Uh, of scientific and alchemical discoveries and musings is being deemed an affront to holy mandate by the establishment. But rumour has it that most scholars would risk being associated with heretical beliefs to glean the knowledge hidden behind its pages. Okay, how many generals do you can you have? You must manage the royal line as well as many generals who fight for that line. There are hard-coded limitations. The game will give adoption opportunities and slowly add children and spice until the number of generals, princesses, and children in your faction is roughly equal to the number of provinces. Yeah, we do know that. So, yeah, this point is worth keeping in mind. Thus, you will need to either take more provinces or wait until some of your generals die before you can gain new family members. Yeah, so we don't want to adopt too many children. Polo de Kefalonia has a skewed view. That's not ideal. Hmm, has developed an odd and sometimes disturbing view of things. Well, that's great. He's also got pneumonia, which probably... And he's an office monk. Wait, how does he have... Hmm. I don't think he's an office monger anymore. He's unfit for office. He's military-minded, so we do want him to go into yes. Verona. But the Holy Roman Empire chilling down here, guys. <laughs> it's not ideal. But anyway, let's... Yes. There's Marino. Marino. He is administratively minded, so we do want to send him to Bologna, where we've Good got morning. Giovanni uh, Polani over here, too. Ooh, what's this? Life of Charles the Great. Fantastic. That is very good. Let's uh, get him on a boat, then. Hopefully, he can get across in a turn. He can. Let's drop him off there. And let's get him into Bologna for his schooling. Let's also get our armies together. Leave behind an urban spear militia. Probably better to leave a few troops behind. Okay, Serbia is going... No, not that hard, actually. How 
quickly can we get there? I mean, I don't want to transgress on Hungary. We can't really afford for our... Oh, 2,000 for a watchtower. Wow. I did not realize it was that much. How much? 87% to do that. Good. We've got rid of one guy at least. Blasphema executed. Fantastic. Stop making our lands orthodox, fool. That is good. He now has full piety. What a man. What a glorious, glorious man. Um, do we want to build anything or want to save our money? There's nothing really worth building in there. Verona might have something. Like a brothel, that's probably worth it. Hmm. Yeah, population growth and happiness. I think that's worth it. This guy is not the best of generals, but it's okay. We still have a king in Venice. Our supreme doge, Pietro the Righteous. Glorious name. And if we do see that big army, I think we just save money so we can get a few mercenaries will be the option there. We do have some good troops, so that is fantastic. Well, let's end the turn, guys. So it seems Aragon wants an alliance, and we are 100% going to accept that because what's the point of not taking it? Let's also see whether scamming them for some map information will be worth it. 800 gold. Just accepted. Glorious. Glorious. So we have a bride presented. Definitely going to accept that so we can get some kids later. When to bless a marriage? I mean, that's very appropriate. There are a number of factors worth considering. First, is it important to always remember that the traits of the father are often passed to his son, so good generals are more likely to provide your realm with good future generations. Okay. A separate but equally important consideration is the number of generals and children already in the family tree and the number of provinces. So, yeah, we need to equalize them. Sometimes fixates on one character offering marriage proposals turn after turn. <laughs> that's hard-coded, unfortunately. Oh, well, that, that, I mean, that's fine. Again, we were assassinated. My master speaks well of you all. Your will. Again, another one of our guys assassinated. Who is assassinating them, though? That's what I want to know. Like, does the Byzantines have people over here? I don't know. We've got good relations with the, the Aragonese, which is fantastic. And we spent a grand on the wedding we got a guy who likes drinking glorious what a man and yeah rousey on did we did build something so i think again probably worth if we queue oh we don't have the money for that let's queue in the brothel for now yes. let's also slowly make our way around here this is not the best of castles really is it like it's not something we want to wait we're, are we neutral with the Serbs still? But we're still at war with the Byzantines. Well, we did get that ceasefire with the Serbs, so... Let's get into Raucion for now. I think we can defend Raucion pretty effectively if we need to. I'm going to ignore that from the council then. I mean, 8,000 florins is a lot, but is it worth the ire of the Serbs? Hmm... Probably not. We just need to sort of build up our economy, I think, slightly slowly. Or do we go for the fight? Ah, oh, so difficult to know. I mean, let's have a look at our land then. What do we need? So, we do need this bit of land off the Serbs. I'm wondering whether we need both of those. Hmm. Well, if we have a look on the map... Let's zoom in. So we've got that. I think we do need both of those bits of land. Looking at it, yeah, we need both of those. So we do need more land off the Serbs. Uh, we need Corinthos down there. And we need... Then only we need Crete and Cyprus. Are we able to get there without dying on the ships, though? That is the question. Because yes, I don't think that's going to be too difficult to take that land so let's get some more galleys i know they're expensive but it'd be fine we're still building in bologna all that sort of thing building everywhere else let's just keep on going let's build a leather tanner thousand gold in the bank that's not a problem i think we do go after the serbs then if we take if we take this castle krezvina Serbia. 
Then we take this. Then all we need to do is take Basalia Ton Romaion, Crete, and Cyprus, which we can see Cyprus. Um, but Crete, we cannot see what they've got there. But I don't think they'll have a big army there anyway. Hildegard of Bingen dies. Unfortunate. Should we invite the Saxons? These immigrants willing to come to our country should give them some welcome funds to prompt them to settle down in our land. I mean, if you devote 4,000 florins, the Saxon units will be available for recruitment in Airdly and Felfold. I mean, that's, that's, those are not lands that we own. <laughs> so I don't know whether that's just a typo or what. Get a Merchant's Guild in Bologna. Absolutely. Okay, so we had a cardinal die. Who's been promoted, though? Ah, it was a Holy Roman one. I was hoping it was going to be ours. Okay, the Romans have now made the one of the hordes into a into a into a sovereignty. Well, that's not good for us. <laughs> Is it better the Affectionate. Ah, okay, we do actually have a new princess. So I think we send them to the Romans to try and get peace with them as soon as we can do. Poles are here too, the Hungarians. Got another guy. Can we kill him? 77%. Yes, come on. Stop converting our lands because they are our lands. Fool. Right, let's come back to Raucion. That should have meant 61% Catholic there now. Oof. Blasphemer executed. Surely that's going to help our relationship with the Pope. I don't know whether it actually does. Does it help? And the Pope, yeah, he's just not happy with us, really. But anyway, let's declare war on the Serbs. And let's siege down this settlement. It's only Ram, so I don't think it should be too difficult to take. And yeah, our relationship is abysmal, so I doubt we'll actually be able to end this war until we've killed them. However, how much land they have is a different question. I don't think they will have too much land, but oh well. we only got 3,000 gold left this time. I do want to get those river ports at some point. Do have this army in Venice. I think that's the army we're going to send against the Romans. Um... So once this navy's up to three, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to send them across. Don't need to build anything else right now. So let's end the turn. Um, we're not going to invite the Saxons, bro. <laughs> what makes a great victor? Number of battles counts all the battles for which the general was in command of an army. Small and big, won and lost. The trait is only a minor direct effect. Victor virtue with three levels. Renowned victor, famous victor, glorious victor. This may be gained if the fort battles was at least an average size, 750 soldiers. There was a minimum of two to one odds. And the battle ended with a great number of enemy losses. The better the outcome, the more virtuous the general can become. Capturing settlements also counts towards this trait. If gained, the trait impacts on the probability of acquiring military education, recovering morale for the general's troops. Van Vanquish accounts only the biggest of battles when the enemy was crushed against higher odds. At least 9 to 10. Conquest of the greatest of cities also adds this trait. London, Paris, Milano, Venice, Rome, Palermo, Caduba, Constantinople. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice. Well, uh, we'll try and conquer some Roman land, and that should help us. We've got a church in Venice. We've got 8,000 gold now. Very nice indeed. So, this yes. battle here, is it worth us taking this? I mean, yes, it is. What I will do, though, before we do this, I'm going to quick save because, of course, we know the sieges, it doesn't seem to like. So, let's uh, keep coming down with the princess. Let's fight this. Let's assault. And let's get into the battle, guys. Our first battle of the episode. So, they've decided to come outside the city, which we've seen a few times before. These guys need to drop the man for a second to fight these guys. They are heavy infantry, so we shouldn't be, you know, so keen on fighting them. But we do have our own mercenary spearmen to deal with them. I'm wondering while we do that, though, let's uh, 
potentially get this ram as well. And maybe try and break through somewhere else so we can flank these guys. Otherwise, you know, there's not really much else to do. Just fight these guys and fight through them. And I don't think we're going to beat all the way through them, but we shall see. Here we go. We've opened the gates now, guys. So we're going to let that mercenary spearman enjoy themselves. I'm going to bring the sergeant spearman in too. I'm going to try and fight that general's bodyguard with these guys. I'm going to try with the weaker unit. See if we can get rid of some of them for the upkeep. Also going to send two of these boys around this way. And I don't think we really need to use anyone else. Although it would be good to get the general into the fight here. Fortunately for some reason, if you have a look at my mouse in the right corner there. There we go, that's better. For some reason, I have it locked so that you're not supposed to be able to um, uh, get the mouse off. But it's going onto my other monitor for the like for once. I don't know why. But these guys should have a good time against the General's Bodyguard. Especially our General's Bodyguard too. Rally the troops, man. There we go. So we can't really spin that way very well. <laughs> now charge the General. And you should have an easy time with that. Mercenary spearmen are doing okay. Half the enemy but not amazing. There we go. General should easily beat these guys. Let's come into the town square. Let's bring both of you. There we go. Get running, my men. And then I think we just need to speed this up and that's it. We'll have one guy here. And we'll send... Excellent. This guy, kill that general. There we go. General's just carried on charging. Fantastic. Should break them pretty easily. Glorious victory, my friends. Nice and easy. Wasn't exactly the scariest fort that we're going to face in this campaign, is it? But anyway, glorious victory, guys. Let's end it. And inevitably, we did crash, guys. <laughs> so... Auto resolve is about equal in terms of losses and kills, so that's fine. <sighs> well, I just don't think we can play sieges. Like, that's just not going to be a thing that we can do. Let's occupy the settlement anyway. It's only a tiny, tiny castle. Not that useful at all. It does uh, have the ability to be upgraded, though, so let's do that straight away. We got 8,000 gold from that. Very nice. Fantastic. Problem here is, like, do they have other lands up that way? What I might do is send my scouts. So they have land this way. They, in fact, they have two provinces this way. Sirmium, and then another one up over here somewhere. Which the Hungarians look like they... No, that's Hungarian land, so it might just be Sirmium. Well, that's good if it is. What I'm thinking of doing is leaving behind these mercenary spearmen. How upset are you about that? Pretty upset. Well, we're going to have to wait here for a little bit then, at least. So, yeah, we'll come back down with the scouts. But 12,000 gold. What do we do with that, guys? I feel rich. I feel incredibly rich. Um, I think it's worth, you know, the fairground. Let's see how much money that will get. Gain us. About 150. Literally only about 150. Not that worth it then. How about a sewerage system? That's got 40% health from that. That's insane. That is insane. Wow. That's very good. I would like to get that port with dockyard. Because look at that trade. That's 500 extra trade. So maybe we wait for next turn and I just hold off building anything else. I think that's the thing to do right now. So let's do that. Let's end the turn and then let's build that port next time. Ah, oh, god damn. The, gem the army, the literal 14 scouts have cost us 2,000 gold. <laughs> Skedron, we're going to get 8,000 gold from that as well. I mean, that's insanely good. But you guys come back. And, uh, yeah, Hungary's not so happy with us right now. Where is our cardinal, right? 53%, 62 there. How is it up here? 23%. Well, we'll try and get that up to 60, and then we're going to change it. I am going to risk getting this now. It means we've only got 800 in the bank, but I think we can risk it for now. And then what we're going to do, 
We are going to take this army. Which of these guys... This guy is administratively minded. He's got more chivalry and more loyalty. So, what I'm going to do... Oh, how can they not really... I recruited them in this port. Oh, this is getting silly with these admirals, honestly. Like, I thought... Oh, it wasn't in the port. It was to the side of the port. <laughs> God damn it, man. Well, let's take this guy anyway. So we'll take him. We'll take this army. We'll leave behind these guys. We're going to take the cross. The glorious cross. We'll move it in there first. And yeah, how many turns is that? Ten turns. Not even too bad. Not even too bad. This guy's getting upgraded. Glorious. That's going to really help out. Can we kill this guy? 64%. Yes, we can. <laughs> Very nice. Let's pop him back here. Keep on going. Got a little bit of growth in this region now. Fantastic. And yeah, things are looking up. That massive Serbian army, though, is a little bit scary. And I'm still a little bit worried about it. Hello, Might try and talk to the Hungarians. See if we can get something going. Come on, Pope. What do you think of us? You don't like us. You don't like the Regnum Sicilii, though. College of Cardinals... So the Holy Roman Empire has two. Apart from them, I think England does have two as well. No, they don't. Okay, apart from them, uh, everyone else just got one. That's fine. I would like two because I want to convert my lands, but apart from that, it's okay. Anyway, let's end the turn there, guys, again. Like I say, this, is, this mod is all about slowness, isn't it? Taking your time, not being crazy, going for crazy blitzing, anything like that. I mean, I don't know what our diplomatic relation is at the moment. But yeah, we're at war with a lot of people. And we are supposedly allied to the Pope. But we're actually not allied to the Pope. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it says we're neutral with the Pope. Yeah. But we're the player. So, yeah, we're kind of allied to the Pope. So, I think we are going to go for Corinthos, Crete, and Cyprus. That is the main thing we want to do. While we are doing that, though, it might be worth getting some more Urban Spear Militia. Uh, so we'll do that next turn. We're going to get five Urban Spear Militia to pop them in this army. Just as a bit of a backbone, because this army is not that great. We should also maybe get one Sword Mailed Foot Knight as well. Just to bolster this army up slightly. But anyway, let's end the turn and we'll talk about that next turn. Okay, the sons of faction leaders may receive additional traits. In particular, if their father has maximum authority or piety, has won numerous heroic battles, has grained the crown of your faction, or has ended another faction's existence. This is a so-called faction killers. Then his sons will be held in exceptional esteem by the subjects. Okay. Yeah, they will be able to take the crown without doing anything crazy. Okay, the Romans are now at war with the Sicilians. That brings me hope. <laughs> that makes me extremely happy, my friends. <laughs> Let's pop in three, two of those boys. One of those. Let's see, anywhere else we can get some more spear militia. We can. Verona. Ooh, Norman sergeants. Let's have a look. They're a pretty good sort of spear unit they take two turns to recruit though i think we'll get some mailed knights though then it upkeep is a thousand though but just to bolster this army because it's not that strong really is it in fact it's pretty darn weak so yeah let's uh let's keep on coming down this way try and talk to the hungarians and yeah have we got anywhere anything else we can recruit like i think we'll get some woodsmen down here maybe maybe not some scouts but some woodsmen to start with where are we not building? We're not building here. So, do we go for the inn? No, that's too much money. Same thing for the school. Um, Towns Guard's not that expensive. So, let's pop that in there. Allow us to recruit a few more units down there. Then we'll look at trying to build something in Verona and Ancona. Well, probably just Verona next turn. <laughs> okay, building the Notre Dame for the French is about to begin. That's glorious. And there we go. We got a lot of troops. 
last turn. So we're still making money, but only about 4,000 a turn now. So it's not exactly a lot. Uh, but let's all join up in Bologna. There we go. Did we get anyone down here? We did. So yeah, this army is going to be a pretty decent one. I'm going to take this general out. We're then going to organize the army rather than just leaving it be a mess like I've done with all the rest of the armies. Take the spearmen next. Then we'll go with these guys. Pop them in. Then we'll go with all our archer forces. Then we'll go with the mercenary and knights. And then we'll go with the glorious cross. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, look at these guys. Mace men. Very nice. Effective against armor. I love that. I love effective against armor, guys. <laughs> this guy is a robber baron. Great. He's making 800 ducats a turn from that place. Fantastic. That was another war declared. Not on us, though. I should have probably looked at that. <laughs> Still learning all the ins and outs of this uh, this mod, of course, guys. Uh, so, what are we? 55 now, 63. 25 up here. It's worth recruiting a few of those units, too. So, we are building in a lot of places. Zara's still going with the roads. Ten more turns for the roads. Is there anything we want to build around in here? Ooh, probably the church. Because I don't think we have a church. Yeah, let's pop that in. So that was good advice from Storm there to build around the things that take a long time. Verona as well. Probably worth getting the drill square just for now. We can get Sergeant Spearman if we get the drill square. That's fantastic. Um, you might as well just pop into Bologna for now. And, yeah, let's end the turn there, guys, and then we will get on the ships once again. So we have another suitor, and this guy is actually fantastic. He's also military-minded, which, yeah, is very good. So I think I have to accept him. Diplomats. There are a few diplomats in SSHIP. In the early game, a medium-sized faction is likely to have just one, very rarely two. Uh, so we need to build... Unique buildings, starting capital. Okay, conquering another capital will allow us a university, but only after a, after a certain culture. An explorers or theologians guild. Oh, God. Hmm, do we even have a diplomat still? Like, where is he? He's still in Pisa. Still getting rejected. I think it's worth talking to the Holy Roman Empire, seeing if we can get an alliance there. Another marriage. Fantastic. That means we spent a load of gold. Great. Ah, well. Well, anyway, let's get our guy. Although, where did that guy come of age? Oh, did he come of age over here? He did. That's unfortunate. I mean, we could pick him up, but we're gonna get we're gonna get tanked for it, aren't we? Huh. Well, I prefer these guys to be governing cities. So, you, for example. Hmm. We can actually go all the way down to Rousion with you, actually. So, let's get them all together again. I'm going to go... They've all got messed up now, apparently. Great. The quirks of Medieval 2, I guess. Right, and then the rest of them, apart from the cross, are actually in order. Are they in order now they're in their army, though? They are! Fantastic! Well, we're going to come down to Raucion with you. Hopefully we don't get attacked by the goddamn Byzantines. But we can't move far. We're going to drop them off there. Drop them off there. There we go. Each turn so we don't die. Unless we die this turn, which is likely, let's be honest, with the luck we've had so far <laughs> in this campaign. Right then, let's see if we can leave Bobovac. We've still got enough movement to get back in, so that's fine. Okay, they're happy. They're happy. Right. We'll leave behind this guy, the new guy. Troops ready for action, guy. I'm going to pop down this way and go after Skodron. Again, we've got to remember we can't really afford... 
to um, to do the siege. So we might just have to wait it out. How many turns? Five turns. I mean, I don't mind waiting five turns. That's not a problem at all. Uh, we're getting some more archers, which we can send up to there. Glorious, 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 my friends. Very nice indeed. Anything else we want to do? I think we're building everywhere, aren't we? Fantastic. Seven more turns until that's done. That's going to be glorious. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. Again, we are not inviting the Saxons to places that we don't we don't know. <laughs> How do priests work? Priests convert a uh, province's population to your faction's religion. Yep. A priest piety is the main factor. Priests are best recruited in city with a theologian's guild. They can also be admitted to the guild later if they end their movement in a city with such a guild. Glorious. The, more, the higher the level of the guild, the more beneficial a priest. Priests may also gain better starting characteristics if recruited in a city with a cathedral... Uh, is that he preaches his religion successfully, i.e. converts many people over a short span of time. Okay. He may work both work he may work both in the settlement and countryside, and both social milius provide him the opportunities and risks. In the countryside, he may gain dangerously free ideas. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. May visit holy places relevant to their religion. Jerusalem, while Rome, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay. Priest age, yeah, we know that. Fewer priests, so yeah, I wonder whether we can train another priest. Um, agent limit reach, so we need more churches. So, didn't we get a church in Raucion? Did we not get a church here? If we did, maybe we need a bigger church. That would make sense, to be fair. <laughs> Uh, we don't have much money now because we are moving two armies at the same time. Do Pietro is now senile. That means he's he's going to die. <laughs> the Holy Romans. Where did I send my old diplomat? He went there. Right, let's talk to these guys. Let's see if we can get an alliance. Just rejected. Still just rejected. That's unfortunate. Fortunately, they did not attack the ships. But that's glorious. Let's pop into... Do we have a port here? No, we've got a port there, though. That should be fine. And we'll attack Skodron. Good. We might actually get attacked this time and then have to fight a field battle. I don't even think we fought a whole field battle in this campaign so far, which is kind of crazy to me. I've, I've never experienced that before. But... There we go. We've got an Imperial Cardinal. So do we want our guy in the city? Because at the minute, he's got some questionable beliefs. He's also ill, and he's 50. So let's pop him in the city for now. But yeah, how... We're 57%, 63 there, and then I think we're going to go up to Bobovac up here. Nice. But anyway, let's end the turn again, guys. Again, it's just a building up episode, this one, I think, again. Which all episodes are right now, but we have a big army on the move, so we should be doing some good stuff. Taking Corinthos, for example, then Crete and Cyprus, and then we'll be crowned, my friends. We will be crowned! Okay, so it seems the Serbs are feeling the pressure, so that means that we should decline this. <laughs> you are not convinced. For now. For now. For now. Okay, merchants the same as cardinals. Markets, Docklands, merchants, guilds, all that sort of thing. Going to allow us to get more merchants. We do have a lot of merchants right at the start. Okay, so no more martial law in Verbosna? Ver Where's that? Dalmatia. Verbosna? No, Ragusa. Bosnia. Romania, Verona. I don't think Verbosna's over here, is it? Yeah. Uh... Hmm. So, from now on, there'll be no martial law here, and the unrest of the burghers will swing in the same manner as in other parts of your realm. Be aware, though, 
that this settlement will stay defiant of your rule for a long time. Indeed, it will take decades for the people to get accustomed to the narratives of your house and to admit your legitimacy. Of course, with the crown king pursuing the protector policy, it will be easier, but not all faction leaders can have those qualities, so watch out to the turmoil here. If you manage to keep control of this settlement long enough, after 100 years, you'll get information that it has been integrated and the unrest is only a little higher uh, than in the settlement traditionally belonging to your faction. So I'm assuming that means Borbovac over here, but it's Bosnia, Bosnia. So yeah, that's fine. We are losing money now, are we? Yes, we are. Oof. Not great. Yes, my we better get another settlement soon then. Let's pop into the port. And I think that's going to be good. Can we? Can't even get them off anyway. Hmm, losing money is not ideal, but we may just have to adjust the tax rates in some of these regions, you know. That's quite a lot of extra money there, if we go up to high. We can't change it in the castles, of course. Venice, I mean, that's a load of extra money. I think we go with that. Minus 1% growth, which is not good. What about Ragusa over here? Yeah, let's go for that they're gonna be upset for a little bit but it's gonna be okay um how are we doing in terms of the Gosh. culture 57 we'll try and get to maybe 60 65 before we go up to bosnia and we're gonna keep on sieging this down too so again let's end the turn and hopefully what are we looking at money wise yeah, not much, not much, my friends. But when this uh, port gets done, it will be a little bit of a different story, I think. So we did crash, guys, when we fought a battle here at the end turn. So I'm going to try that again. And let's see. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time. Okay, well, they didn't attack us this time. So that's slightly annoying because that well, did look like it was going to be a good, fun battle to end the episode on. But... Oh, well. To become a turning knight, a general must take part in tournaments. This requires that jousting lists are present in the settlement where the general spends much of his time. The likelihood of becoming a turning knight is higher if the general has the military inclination and shows an interest in, in horses, so stables, all that sort of thing. And a general may also become a famous knight for deeds carried out in real battle. Okay. Okay, that's good. Dreaded generals will not lose their dread by turning in a castle, but if they stay in a city, they are likely to acquire taste for more of the goods of life, causing them to lose their dread. Keep in mind that a general may become severely wounded, scarred, or become somewhat uglier as a result of turning. <laughs> he may also be distracted from his other duties, making him less likely to become a good miner or good builder. Turnies are part of Western culture, and therefore only Catholic factions and Serbia are able to build jousting lists. Okay, that's cool. So what happened last time, guys, was this army attacked us. And we were fighting three armies because there's one hidden in the trees here, I believe. Yes, um, But yeah. Okay, we can't actually drop them off there. We could do a draw-out battle there. Whether they accept it or not. So, okay, a cardinal has died. We've got the town guard in Raucion. Let's see, would they... Okay, we can't even move this turn. It's a bit annoying, but okay. Uh, yeah, right. Hmm. So, I don't think there's anything else we want to do. Oh, this guy was joining this army, wasn't he? Huh. He can actually go and join it, so let's do that. And we'll move... So this guy's the military. Yeah, we'll move this guy into Raucion next turn. They're a bit upset right now. Go to low. They should be okay, maybe? Hmm. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. Build up episode once again. And glorious fun once again. I do really like these build up episodes. Let me know down in the comments, though, below if you'd like me to skip some of these turns. And just have more battles. But for me personally, I really do like, you know, this economy building and doing all of this, trying to get the trade better, trying to build up the economy, balance out the economy, all that sort of thing. But do let me know if you don't like that or you do like that and want me to keep it in. Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. And I will see you all again 
on the next video.